What is up guys, this is True Star. We hope you're having an awesome day out there. So today we're just gonna show you what's best, DTS, PCM, what does it mean for True, Dolby HD, and DTS HD. Well basically guys, on your PlayStation 4, 5, your cinema system, your surround system, your DTS, your Blu-ray player, whatever you've got, you might see you've got liner PCM, and you've also got various settings within that. So you've got the choice to output PCM, Bitstream, the Bitstream then can come in various formats, which is Dolby and DTS. Now the Dolby format is just a form of surround, as is the DTS format. One is supposedly better than the other, it depends on your hair and type, but basically they both offer a unique and really precise surround format so you shouldn't really worry about them liner and bitstream that is our concern here and that is what we're going to concentrate on so guys basically when it comes to setting up audio systems people confuse pcm with bitstream others don't even know what the option means or why it's there from and if you select them we can guarantee like us that 99 percent of you will not actually know with what the difference is but we can look into the differences and decide which is best for what setup we got because that is what matters here guys. See whether you're using a console, a Blu-ray system, a cinema system, a receiver or an amplifier. It is the physical connection to the actual sound system, the sound outputting system that matters here. For instance, if you connect your Blu-ray display to your home theater receiver via HDMI, there's two main audio output settings available, Bitstream and PCM, aka L. PCM. Now PCM versus Bitstream. If we have a look at it in general terms here guys, we can see PCM for instance works perfectly with all common Blu-ray players and basically CD and DVD players. And PCM files derive from an analog signal originally. That means it's up or down guys, wavy in the air going up and down like a wave. PCM files generally require a wide connection between the source and device and the receiver. And PCM files support both the transmission of digital transmission and analog transmission so as well as that wavy that analog they also have digital which is step zero and ones now when we look at a very similar but a polar opposite almost bitstream format it works with some devices but they need to be manufactured and compatible with the latest technology for instance bitstream supports surround file formats such as dts x and atomos now these are the latest surround file formats the very precise and when you listen to a surround format like this you are placed in an exact environment where the sound engineer knows you are placed so he knows exactly where you are that's where you've been placed and that is how they are so effective when it comes to these they're encoded with bits while recording to match a special file format so that ensures that the whole setup is digitally enhanced from the get-go guys now without a doubt one of the biggest changes and benefits of bitstream over pcm is that file format supports a wireless connection in addition to wired connections what that means is basically guys it can be sent over the air for instance over your aerial to your tv and then decoded by your tv or surround system whereas pcm cannot guys it also works with digital sound transmissions only whereas you remember what we said pcm works with digital transmissions and analog transmissions remember analog is a wave guys Guys, digital is blocks zeros and ones and that is the difference the main difference in listening is treble let's say digital is whereas analog is more bassy that is the main difference that you will pick up with your ears so which one is best well guys this depends on two things which you want to do the decoding which item because some might have a performance impact and how you wish to connect them. So I want you to imagine you've got a PlayStation 4 or a Blu-ray player on your left in front of you, in front of your TV. On the right of your TV, I want you to imagine you've got an amplifier and speakers. So the PlayStation 4 or the Blu-ray player on the left, so it's either a Blu-ray player or a PlayStation 4, that's gonna create the item. That's gonna use the item, let's say a Blu-ray disc. We're gonna watch a film. The one on the right, that is an amplifier and speakers. That's gonna output the sound and amplify it now you notice how i didn't say decode it you either want the one on the left to decode it the one on the right to decode it so either the player or the amplifier and that is which setting you choose because which setting you choose determines which does the decoding so if you don't want the performance impact because obviously decoding does have a performance impact on the player or the console then don't choose it if you don't want it on the amplifier on the right then don't choose that so for instance if you choose pcm the decoding will be done in-house. So it will be done on the PlayStation 4 or the player. If you choose Bitstream, the decoding will be done on the amplifier on the right. So that is one way that matters. Another way that matters is how you connect them. 
if you choose PCM and you connect with a wire, let's say a digital optical cable, you will only get two channels going to the amplifier. So you'll lose certain surround formats that need more than two channels. So for instance, DTSX or Atomos, you will lose them. So for instance, that's where you would choose bitstream and you would send the whole bitstream file down to the amplifier and then the amplifier do the decoding. So that was it in its simplest format. So let's look at the pros and cons of PCM. The advantages is how the decoding is done in the Blu-ray player. Remember I said on the left guys, I am on the left console Blu-ray player. So Lex work is done by the receiver amplifier on the right. It's quicker direct, eliminates lag, better quality access to additional audio tracks so it can put on additional audio tracks. Disadvantages guys, more work done by the player. That's on the left. Audio quality is partially determined by the Blu-ray player, which is again on the left. PCM transmits a two channel signal over digital optical cable. So that means if you use an optical cable, whether it be the laser type that goes in the back or the just single coaxial type cable, you will only get two channels. You'll lose certain surround formats. The most superior ones like DTS True to HD, DTS HD Master. So don't choose it for them. Then you want to choose Bitstream. So basically PCM will do the decoding in house. Bitstream will send the decoding to the amplifier and then the amplifier will do the decoding. So if the amplifier's got better decoders built in like HD formats, newer HD formats, you want the amplifier to do it, guys. So when we look at the pros and cons of Bitstream, the home receiver decodes the audio. So if the receiver offers newer quality decoders, for instance, Dolby Atomos, you should use that because there's a possibility of higher quality sound coming out. Basically, Bitstream sends an encoded 5.1 channel signal over the digital optical, which is the laser type, or the coaxial, which is a phonotype digital cable, and basically that's good. Disadvantages, more work's placed on the receiver, in this case we're calling it the amplifier, and it requires a higher quality amplifier to achieve better results. Supplemental audio scaled down, what that means is we can lose the two channel extra commentary audio, for instance, on some tracks, which is usually mixed in and then broken down, and PCM can separate that, whereas Bitstream won't. If you select Bitstream after wiring up these two items, the PS4, let's say with the cinema system, the amplifier you'll get the audio system, the amplifier will say DTS audio or Dolby on the screen. Now basically our overall findings from this guys are this. Bitstream, the receiver decodes the audio, the potential for higher quality audio, limited secondary the secondary audio quality 5.1 support over digital optical or coaxial whereas PCM if you use that laser you will get downscaled if you use that laser cable you get downscaled if you use all phonotype coaxial you'll get downscaled so don't use them guys use a HDMI connection PCM the blu-ray player decodes the audio so that can be good it requires higher bandwidth better for secondary audio channels that we discussed you'll get commentary channels on that limited digital optical or quadrical coaxial output what that means is guys don't use them type of cables if you're going to use pcm so basically i hope that's helped you out with this setting guys line of pcm or bitstream basically bitstream will do you better basically with a surround system with a ps4 and a player nowadays so to recap which is better depends on how you have connected up your device. If you've connected up your device with an optical cable, your PCM, you will lose channels. So you have to use Bitstream if that's the case. If you've connected with a HDMI cable, you can use either. And my advice is use Bitstream because you will allow the higher codex then. PCM, it will decode on board of the actual player. Bitstream, it will decode at the actual amplifier surround system which is better which is lossless it doesn't make a difference guys to be honest you won't notice the difference if anything what i will tell you this the higher you go with quality for instance if you go bitstream and look for the highest codex the highest dts sound you will sound tinny and not so natural so the higher quality you go you actually lose quality and it doesn't it's not what the actual ears prefer so if that's the case and you're worried about which is lossless which is not the more lossless you go the more sharper and treble you go the more your ears don't actually like it your ears prefer an analog signal which is smoother and more rounder so if that's what you're looking for, I would advise you to go for PCM. But the truth is, Bitstream is the future. Bitstream is the way you should go. And you could set things with equalizers down to PCM to become more analog-like and more bassy-like and more in tone with voices to natural. Basically, guys, Bitstream will allow you to get all the surround formats. So will PCM. But PCM will start restricting them if you're using older type cables. Additionally, if you streaming something to a speaker for instance surround speakers you stream in your kitchen or whichever rooms you want to use then bitstream because it can stream the higher codex whereas pcm cannot wirelessly stream them now as you see some of these posts on my friends websites as you can see mentioned performance issues this is a very 
old school thing. New microchips nowadays are so small, little mini processors, they decode without any power or draw on any system. You will never notice performance hit on either the player or the amplifier. This is an old school issue, so you won't know it's like or a performance hit, depending on what you do. What I would recommend, guys, is my recommendation is bitstream option dolby or dts which is better i recommend dts it's got more separated channels that are less decoding whereas dolby has more of a decode and surround format in it that needs doing so bitstream dts always hdmi cable guys you will get more lossless with hdmi cable that is digital and that will allow you the best results I hope this video has helped you out and learned you a lot. If it has, huge thumbs up down the bottom right. If you've not been here before, consider going on to subscribe to see more cool guides just like this. With that being said, have a great day ahead, and I'll catch you in the next one, guys.